morning. Um, my alarm just went off. It's like 6.15. Um, when I sleep here, I wear this eye mask. Um, I think it's upside down. So I wear this eye mask to block out the light because as you can tell it's pretty bright in here um, and it's pretty much always this bright even like at you know midnight and I usually wear a hat too um, if it's cold uh, so I'll show you what I'm looking at inside my tent I've got clothes strung up on these lines so that they can air out um, since we can't really do laundry here and we're here for like four weeks at the top I also have a thermometer, um, because it's kind of interesting to see what the temperature is. So right now, right now it is like 17 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. So I just have like the shell of my boot in here and the liners are in the galley drying because they were kind of damp yesterday. Um, so I'm going to put this on and then... So there's like this vestibule right in front of my tent um, and another zipper right there and that's just helpful so that when it's windy or snowy or whatever um, I can get into my tent and not worry about all that stuff getting in. Okay, so I'm zipping the outer door. And it's a bright sunny day. Heading into the galley for breakfast. Morning, Mike. Jessica, so morning. 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 What? I'm so angry this morning. He's slamming the door. Looks like it's hash browns and scrambled eggs for breakfast. Good morning, Good morning everyone. Good morning, Good morning, morning Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> it is Saturday, December 23rd, 8 hotel. Good weather, the winds will be light most of the day, 3-4 knots. Today will be um, hopefully all set up and who knows, we may actually be able to start augering. Alright, so I just finished breakfast and morning meeting, so I'm going to walk out to um, the daisy site to do bring up my temperature logger again. I'll turn this around so you can see what I am looking at. This is walking towards the daisy site. You can see Minnow Bluff in the background. Right here I am coming up to my site. Uh, so what I'm going to do is take off these covers from the borehole, take out that foam, and then I'm just going to take this uh, string that's holding up the temperature logger, uh, make a little loop, and drag it out to that other pole um, right out there, which is five meters away. And I will do that three times, so we bring it up by 15 meters, and then I'll just uh, spool it up and head on back. Heading back to camp now, and I'll write down the time and the weather um, of when I pulled up the temperature log. We're going to get a helicopter in today, and they just left from McMurdo, so what we're going to do is um, fill this uh, black box with the samples that we took of uh, for an air, which are inside this this is inside the Polar Haven, and so we're going to take all of these cardboard boxes um, and put those into the larger box to be heloed out. Packages with supplies and check got his Socks and jeans. Socks. And jeans. We're gonna give our visitors a tour of the camp and the drill and everything. While we're doing our tour, the 
rollers are starting up really bad now that they've moved. Everyone's gonna come in for lunch in a few minutes. Yep. <laughs> That's actually a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I haven't done anything. Yeah, yeah. You get on it, Jessica, so lazy. <laughs> She's only been doing this for about 40 minutes already. <laughs> for the superstars that you are, I got you all some superstar shades. Oh my god! <laughs> no way! No way. <laughs> Santa Claus did come! I'm going to take uh, Mike and Nate, two of our visitors, to see the Daisy site and uh, explain to them what I've been doing with my fern. Uh, density profile and the borehole temperature profile. Mike Lucibella, I write the Antarctic Sun. I'm basically the staff journalist for the program and I came out here to learn a little bit more about RAID and the other projects uh, going on around here. I'm Nate Williams. I'm with the uh, ASC Environmental Engineering Department and we do environmental reviews of projects. This is my uh, third year working here in Antarctica. This is my seventh. I'm gonna take a shower. I wasn't actually expecting any shower when I came here, so I got like dry shampoo and everything. So I'm feeling super fresh. Um, I shower about once a week on Saturdays. Um, and I'm wearing my post-shower clean t-shirt and jeans, which are like my only clean pair of pants now, and flip-flops. I'm hanging out with our visitors. Kathy has given them some tasks, like emptying out two cups of fish sauce. Hey, not every job is an efficient one. We've managed to break a new, we set a new, a new world, world record, record. Yeah. <laughs> over a hundred meter deep augering in fern and ice awesome. without getting stuck. Yeah. Should we do a slow, uh, slow motion? Slow. Oh. <laughs> I have we don't want to push it too bad. It I know. Oh. Yeah, get a good picture of it. So. Does anybody have so weird. So yeah, something so it like goes calmly and peacefully. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay, no killing necessary. Woohoo! Well done. High five. Maybe he's sick of that. Maybe he's a little butter and celery leaves. We have had Thai with shrimp, chicken coconut curry, and rice. It's a, no, you put it on rice. Unfortunately, we have a new problem. Uh, we were able to drill to the depth that we wanted, but a bunch of the chips or the leftover broken up bits of fern and ice were left behind, and those have filled up the borehole too much. To the point where we can't yes, set the pack and make a seal. Oh, yeah, what you do here is just do what you gotta do here. I'm heading back out to the Daisy site to bring up the temperature logger um, another 15 meters. Yep, well, I called that one right. <laughs> Two points. Which number is that? 76 down, spring time. 